gone live on. Hello, everybody. We are live. Hello, everybody. We're Hello. live. We are live and we are alive. <laughs> <laughs> we're live, we're alive. And I think I'm translating. I'm just repeating you down now, Ryan. <laughs> okay, so hi, everyone. Welcome to creating a thriving access business. And that, that's too formal to, to begin with. We need to do something that is more humorous. You we, want to start we, with that? Remember, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Before we started the Facebook Live, we were doing this. Uh, let me show you something. I have a pink shirt. <laughs> There you go. I love that revelation. <laughs> that is what creating a thriving and a thriving access business is about. <laughs> Where can you instill your humor? <laughs> Thank you for, for laughing. Otherwise, I feel like, okay, I'm trying to create a joke, but no one is laughing. All right, I feel like a failure. Well, you know what? A, you will never have that problem with me ever. And then usually and there are times like when nobody's laughing, I'm still laughing. And I'm like, why am I laughing? Should I not be laughing? So <laughs> thank you for letting me laugh. <laughs> I hope those online. I, I, I don't know what 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 would the what would be their reaction? They'll be like, oh my god, is that funny? Like, am I supposed to laugh? Is that funny? Yeah, why is pink funny or is that is it pocket funny? But actually, I have the same question, like why why is that funny? <laughs> I, I, I don't before, have before, an answer. Before we started the Zoom, the, the Facebook live, we, we, we were like, uh but what's so funny, but why are you laughing? But okay, since you're laughing, I'm going to do that one more time. <laughs> I don't have an answer for what, why that's funny. It is just hilarious. I should have got that too. Uh, maybe, may, hey, maybe another revenue stream. Black t-shirts yes. with pink pockets. <laughs> so that was the introduction. Yes. That was the, yeah, that was a three-minute introduction bit. Now we're moving on. Uh, um, I, 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 I want to apologize. So I'm sorry I wasted your three minutes watching this. <laughs> Which is another, I love the humanoid man trait. Let's just start with the apologies. Like, you know, sorry for everything so far and sorry for everything that, you know, that's going to occur. In. Apology accepted. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's get back to the actual real topic. Real topic, which was, yeah. And <laughs> well, we do have amazing Ryan T with us. Uh, who I've been trying to pick his brain for like last 24 hours and, and uh, you know, like, and I'm like, how do I introduce Ryan T? So I think I will just say, hey, Ryan, who are you today? <laughs> do you want to answer that? Well, that's not something that I can answer easily. Um, but what does that matter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh God, yeah, seriously, it doesn't. Right. And, so oh. I think I can like very briefly introduce myself. So um, uh, my name is Ryan. I'm from Malaysia, but I'm normally not in Malaysia because I travel way too much. Uh, when I say I travel way too much, within six months of 2022 this year, after like Malaysia like let us fly away from from that country, fly away. <laughs> uh, I have I have booked 50 flights. Wow. I mean, including all the transits and everything, like 50 sure. flights within six months. Like, I'm like, holy shit. Right, so, wow. Um, so I travel to many places. I facilitate classes. I attend classes. Uh, I do access as my main business and not main business, my only business. Um, I found access 11 years ago when my life was so horrible. I didn't have a pink pocket 11 years ago. <laughs> Must have in the pink pocket. Yes. <laughs> and it took you 11 years to find it. Oh, yes. I, 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 I did. I, I just found this, like, I don't know, three weeks ago, I think. <laughs> so um, 11 years ago, I found access when my life was, like, horrible, miserable. And so when I first learned access, of course, I, I was like, okay, it feels cool. It sounds good. Like, I feel good after I receive bars. But what is... Access consciousness, uh, consciousness. I have no clue how to explain that. Like, okay. So, uh, but I keep using the tools, the techniques, and my life keep on changing, like bit by bit. Uh, now my life changed very fast, changed a lot. But eleven years ago, my life changed very like slowly, tiny bit by bit, uh, because I was more committed in drama and trauma and stories and like 
well, whatever. So the usual um, stuff. But hey, but a lot of people started that way. I mean, like yeah. everyone has different backgrounds. Some too. people they, they came to access with a happy background, like I didn't. Um, so I, I in fact, like I came to access with huge money problem. Money was one of my biggest problem, if not the definite biggest problem. Um, Eleven years ago, um, I was in credit card debt. Like so, I was desperately needing to solve that problem so i attend classes and so on and so forth uh, so long story short and then after that i became bus facilitators because i love what i i love all these things and so i start to teach classes facilitate classes um but yeah you know for most people when they first started it's like where do i find clients how do i introduce bus to people what will happen if people reject me? Well, I think people will find me too weird, you know, all those things. I've been there and done that. And I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> and still having the business. Yes. And, yeah. And thank you for that vulnerability. And, you know, um, yeah. I, and I was like, there were so many places in there when you were talking about me too, me too. Like I had this, you know, similar stuff. And yeah, and exactly. And even to the part like where it's like, uh, you know, um, how do I start a business? And, um, but then, uh, you know, and it's like, and that's like, I wanted to uh, have this conversation because um, uh, a lot of times, like, and I'm sure you would have seen it too, Ryan, like uh, people start an access business, um, but you know, it's, it's like, uh, sometimes people have it as a side business. Let me have it as a side business. And when it succeeds, then I will make it a main business. Or is it going to go that well? Or sometimes people do it like a hobby. And, um, you know, but the underlying energy is that uh, conclusion that I don't see this business actually taking off uh, at all. You know, that's the underlying energy. And, uh, and here you are, like you're, you're thriving in your business. Um, so, yeah, you want to talk about like, and you started to talk about that, that part, like, you know, uh, how do I start a business and everything? And would you like to talk about um, more about you know creating a thriving business because yeah like did you see, and I'm I'm sure I know the answer but I'm just gonna ask it anyway like what was the answer you know now, now I'm curious what is the yeah, answer that I, I knew the answer would, was going to be no to the question which I was going to ask <laughs> which was did you set up to have a thriving business you know and which I'm I guess it was, yeah, exactly <laughs> when, when you had money problem when you were in debt like your main target is just to get out of debt yeah <laughs> when you are sick your target is just to recover from illness yeah right? seriously stop and then it after sick. you recover from illness then maybe if you choose more then you'll be like okay now i actually choose to be healthy yeah okay so uh of course i didn't choose to like have a so-called thriving business um and in fact i if i look back at how i how i create my business I'm not the fastest one I've seen a lot of people that they create much bigger uh, have so-called more money more participants or whatever uh, within shorter time for me it took me well, I would say five six years for me to finally have had enough of my own bullshit my own trauma and drama I mean it for real like I I, I attended a lot of classes at that time so uh, I attended every class the Gary and Dane did about money at the time until today without a miss every one of them but so even after I attended so many classes my life didn't change and I think a lot of people can relate to this like yeah I attend classes I hope after I attend the class my life would change I would suddenly like money would just like rain on me right. and, and everything <laughs> will change overnight yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, I didn't and so but I, I still have some changes. It was just like slower, way slower than I wish. Uh, but I kept going and I kept going and I really used all the tools to work, to change whatever that I can think about. Yeah. Um, and of course, very often, um, okay, let me tell you why it took me so long. Now, when I look back at it, sometimes I use the tools and techniques just to distract myself. I still have a problem to fix. I'm not good enough yet. I'm not perfect yet. I, I'm, I need to talk and pot this first. I need to clear this. I need to change that. I, I have whatever. So I didn't actually 
script. I was more interested in fixing myself, fixing problem, yeah. meaning to find out how wrong I was, <laughs> to prove how wrong I was and try to fix that and then find the next wrongness and then repeat the same thing. Yeah. yeah. What business? Let me work on myself first, you know. <laughs> um, yeah. So there are actually two things, okay? So number one, I mean, with access, like, um, number one, yes, we clear limitations. Number two, you need to make a different choice. So many people, they only clear limitations. They are so busy clearing limitations like all day long. Yes, indeed, those limitations got clear. But yeah. hey, what's next? I mean, it's a green light. I can move forward. But if I don't choose to move forward, I will still be standing at where I am and looking at the green light. Yes, I know I can go forward, right? But even if you want to go forward, if it's a red light, you, you, you will still go, right? Yeah. I mean, that might not sound right, but you know what I mean. Even if it's a red light, uh, you want to go, you will still be able to go. And you it works in India. You can still go, <laughs> even if it's a red light. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. then finally, I started to ask questions toward creation, like, what can I create? And when I say, what can I create? So I, okay, I'm willing to share everything, um, but I think a lot of people wouldn't believe that, right? But let me let me share. So when I say, uh, what can I create? A lot of people, they function from what can I create for myself? It's about self-interest, right? Um, I'm not saying that I'm 100% not like free from self-interest, but for me, it's more like, okay, what can I create that is a contribution to people? Who can I contribute to? Okay, then with that question, I start to, like, after you ask a question, you get the awareness, like, okay, this is what you can create, this is what you can create, this is what you can create. Of course, after we get the awareness, a lot of people, they ask questions, they get the awareness, but they don't make that choice. They hold themselves back. They're like, ah, I don't think I cannot. What if people judge me? Blah, 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 blah. Right. For me, I'm like, yes, uh, I, I did have that as well, but use all the tools that I have, get over that. And then so I create and I create and I create toward like, how can I contribute to more people? Yeah. That's how I build my business. I mean, if you are in, okay, I don't know if everyone watching this have an access business, or even if you don't have an access business, but if your business is about like empowering people, then mean it for real. You don't like have a empowering people business, but like it's all about yourself. It doesn't work that way. Okay. And so this is where people really need to be honest with themselves. Like, okay, where am I like, say I want to contribute to people, but actually I'm like, okay, what can I get? Okay. Yeah. Um, when you have that honesty, when I say you, I didn't, I mean like in general, okay. Like then you start to change those parts. Oh my God, my pink pocket is coming up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a serious topic and the pink pocket is like, hey, what pink pocket is like, I want to talk. <laughs> okay. So I, I really been there, done that. I worked on myself to find out like, where do I still function from? Let's say self-interest, like where I made it about me. And then, so I changed that. And then, so I'm more and more in that space that like my business, my creation is about like creating a different world. But of course, um, you have to really let go of a lot of self-judgments. You cannot be judging yourself thinking you are the most horrible, most pathetic person on planet Earth and then want to like create something big. <laughs> yeah, which is yeah. amazing. Like, and, and the two things like uh, uh, that and of the many amazing things, like uh, that thing, like, you know, where, where people go, like eventually, uh, people get sucked into the what am I getting out of this you know yeah. that question which is really not a question because it's the underlying thing is again like it's, it's you a just... question you you have to include you as well it, it's yeah. about like I mean you are still breathing on planet earth you quote unquote need money of course like because you have your life uh, but what is the main target of your business, right? Yeah. So it's not like, okay, it's about empowering everyone and then excluding yourself, or it's about you and then like pretend to empower people. But hey, what if it's uh, inclusive of all? Of everything rather than like this, yes. them or me, but like, yes. what if it's like both? And yeah. and I love that question. What is the target of your business? Um, you know, like um, the what I've seen is, is with people that, when they start to have that clarity of what is it that they would like to create 
with this business with that choice they've made that choice that you know mm -hmm. that okay they are going to have this as a business but like when you get when people start to get that clarity of that choice um then people match the energy of what the next choice would be um so yeah you said you get the, about clarity and this is also what i talk about just now like having the self-honesty yeah right? so because a lot of people they can ask a question and then after they ask the question and then they continue to lie to themselves right so for example I'm, I'm just making this up so let's say if you ask like um what am i being that is not contributing to the future i would like to create like but you can come up with some random answer but not looking at what you are really being that is creating let's say destruction to your life or your yeah. business uh because so now i think most of i think people that watch this facebook live they probably have done access and i I think you all know that uh, since I think about six months ago, we started to talk about the profits, the point of view that you are avoiding and defending. Yeah. So if with yourself, you don't have the honesty. Okay, by the way, disclaimer, you don't have to be honest with other people, but you have to be at least honest with you. Like, that would be a good place to start. <laughs> like, yeah, honesty with you. Yeah. 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 So if you are willing to be honest with yourself, meaning um, if you have something that is like truly not working, you have to look at it like okay do i want to continue that way does that work for me but see it sounds really easy i i get that because occasionally i lie to myself as well <laughs> but when i lie to myself at least uh, not long after that i will like okay ryan <clears throat> enough of lying to yourself <laughs> and then i'm like okay i need to look at this like okay what am i really choosing here what am i really doing here what am i really being here all right okay let's change it but before I have that willingness to look at it, have that self-honesty and be willing to be so present with myself, whatever that's not working for me will remain hidden to myself. It might be obvious to other people, but it will be hidden to myself. So, but when I see it, I'm like, all right, enough is enough, no more. And then things shift. Okay, notice that when I say no more, that has, I actually beat energy like, done, change, move on. Yeah, so. which is which is such a smart, which is like very similar to the energy of like, okay, I'm changing this track now, you know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and going on another track. And and thank you for describing so beautifully the the vulnerability and the choice to not judge and the choice to uh, okay make a different choice, which is you know um, such a great way of. Um, actually changing and creating anything and i and i loved hearing what you were talking because it's like yes we have the title of creating a thriving business and uh you know and uh and we we're talking about like being honest with yourself as like one of the basic elements and, um i yeah. i noticed that a lot of people it's not that they don't know how to create but they don't really have the willingness to create i mean if you say you don't know how that is a problem that is easy to solve. You can learn. You can ask someone that knows the answer. You can go online, like attend a class, Google, watch YouTube tutorial, something, whatever. But a lot of people, they know how to do something, but they won't do it. And But if you have the willingness to do it, even though you don't know how, you will learn. So instead of me telling you how to, like the step-by-step, step, step one, step two, step three, yeah. two, create a thriving business but it's more about i would say uh, start from being the energy that would allow you to create a thriving business which is awesome and could you talk more about the people don't have the willingness to go with it um do you okay so now this is not for you but for everyone like do you love your life <laughs> <laughs> can you sense energy this night yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, well, actually i do <laughs> and yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, now if you love yourself if you like yourself you will, you will be the one that support you to have more success if you hate you or well, hate might be too intense but or maybe you dislike you or you judge you um then like if you hate someone okay I, will you support that person to be more successful that is so cool yeah so, no you, <laughs> you, so, can you care for you enough to support you towards success 
Wow. So for me, I, I, I actually talk about this in so many places, in so many classes or Facebook Live, whatever. Yeah. But I don't, but I'm, I would say, unfortunately, uh, most of the time people don't get it because people are looking for the doing. People are looking at, like, tell me what to do. And I keep saying, uh, it's really not about what you do. I mean, yes, you still have to do, quote unquote, the right thing. Okay. But what can you be so that when you do that, bam, you create something. But if you are not willing to be that, you just keep doing and doing, doing. You can work super hard. You can be like, I know, like put in more time, more effort, more hours, do a lot. But because of the lack of being, yeah, it doesn't quite work. That is so phenomenal. So what can you be so that you yourself can create a thriving business or create the lifestyle you desire, create the future you desire? Sure, yeah. Not your yeah. only way. That is so cool. Wow. Um, that's so cool. And it's like, um, where... Uh, and Pink Pocket is the one of the important. Yeah, no, 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 that's a terrible joke. Get a, no, get a pink pocket. Anyone actually comment like, Ryan, enough of that lame joke. It's just not <laughs> You know what? I'm not tired of it as yet. So you can keep going on a Pink Pocket. <laughs> I have tremendous tenacity to keep laughing at the same jokes. So. <laughs> <laughs> and and interestingly, like I'm, uh, I know people are putting messages, and it's like something on my Facebook has sort of froze. So, um, yeah, okay, people, uh, yeah, it's like if you are sending messages, I'm not ignoring you guys, but just <laughs> okay, that is. <laughs> We're still. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I I see someone put that emoji with that angry face. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> mm. Never mind. Okay. 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 Uh, so many windows open. Okay. It's still going on. So. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> what, uh, one of the things that I, when I was talking to you about yesterday and uh, uh, was also like, you know, uh, people like to create business and then, yeah, and then you talked about like people like to go into the how, which is, uh, you know, going with the form and structure. And uh, I was just so happy personally to hear that you don't have a website and you know and, and I was like oh, finally like I don't have to make myself wrong for it um but like you know um could you talk about uh using form and structure to create greater or you know or the places where your people try to do form okay. and structure to like so, so first of all um I should have a website I, I truly get that and I have a lot of stupid reasons why I don't have one yet um, but now the thing that you all can learn from me not having a website is um, so many people when they focus on the doing it's like oh I need to have this I need to have this I must have a like social media profile uh, page Facebook page like Instagram business profile whatever right uh, mailing list like, these are all good trust me like they are really good but um, but if you make those things the main things that you must have instead of looking at yourself as the main thing so then um, it doesn't work that well okay so meaning you have to be the source of creating everything not that I must have this in order to create that in order to create something, you actually have a lot of ways. But people, will, especially, let's say if you go to attend a, like a business training, okay, or e-commerce or whatever, selling online, something, people will tell you like, you need to do this, how your Instagram profile should look like. I have attended a few before, I find it fucking boring. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, it's all about doing the right thing, do it this way, this way, this way. No wonder they all look the same and they all look boring. Yeah. It's the same robotic steps. <laughs> yes, it doesn't have 
it doesn't represent you. You have it, it's just like you're trying to like look good. Yeah. Okay. Um, but then, then again, like if you do, if for all of the, all of you guys, like you do have an Instagram profile, or you know, you're creating yes. your business, it's just like you don't have to go into the wrongness of like, or it's not about like, oh, how badly you're doing, but like, what if you could do it your way? Yeah. <laughs> I had to give that disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> disclaimer, a lot of disclaimers. <laughs> yes, we have humanoids watching, and. <laughs> Even though it's like the first thing they'll go, to, oh my God, I'm so bad. I'm doing this bad. And it's like, nope, still not bad. <laughs> it's still not terrible. No, tell them they are terrible. <laughs> I'm cheating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So Instagram and format structure and, you know, using it to. Okay. So if you have form and structure, you are looking at how to do things right. And. If you don't have a form and structure, it's about be the energy that can create the life or whatever you want, okay? And then moment by moment, you being very present, like, okay, at this very moment, what do I need? Like, what's the next step that I need to take in order to move me forward or move my business forward? Yeah. And could you, would you like to and, talk more and about- the next step could be creating a website, have a very professional looking Instagram profile. Yeah. That could be included, but do it when you know it's time to do it and it will create more. Yeah, rather than chasing it and yes. making it yes, a, yes. like the goal, like, um, yeah. So, uh, and it's, it's really like, um, adding um hey do you want to actually talk about you you mentioned being present with your business mm -hmm. it's um you know how do you want to talk about like how you be present with your business um like do you, you do like a 30 minute so, meditation so, or, i know okay know, so like start i would say um for everyone now look at which part of your i will include life as well not just business which part of your life and business well let's make it even more fun which part of your life and business and marriage are you like <laughs> now you know where i'm trying to go okay like when you you have you have to be honest with yourself to catch yourself with that feeling like oh, i really don't want to look at this i really don't want to deal with this i hope this never exists yeah go away find me on monday <laughs> when people do avoidance they always do it with with a uh, lie behind it like if i don't look at it i hope that it will disappear and then after that you check oh my god it's still there okay i continue to avoid and then oh my god it's still there and then but you see the more you avoid it somehow it's like instead of dealing with it immediately okay sometimes when you deal with it immediately it's not that difficult but when you just keep avoiding and avoiding and avoiding and avoiding that thing just grows bigger and bigger and bigger and it will eat your life right yeah so catch yourself where in your life and business and marriage. <laughs> and Don't say you... the M word. <laughs> People might just check out. <laughs> <laughs> See? No, if, if, you, if it gives you like, <gasps> okay. If that, that is the feeling that makes you go away, like you, you leave your body here to like face whatever that's in front of you and then you disappear. Why do you disappear? Because you have some lies behind it. You have already decided you are not good enough to deal with it. You don't have the ability or it's too hard it's difficult yeah but or, or decided you, that it's not going to work yeah. yeah but if you have the willingness to deal with it you're like i know this is not easy but hey like what tools do i need to use like what like what resources do i need who can help me to look at to change this so that whatever that's not working for you you change it instead of just keep avoiding and hoping that it will disappear and then when you finally have no choice but to look at it it's already like a big huge monster and it eats your life yeah and which is like you you gave such a beautiful tool there like ask who can help me with this because guys you're not alone even though like you have a business that nobody else has created so far even with that like what if you're not alone what mm -hmm. if you have ways to reach to people what if and really a question who can contribute to me um yeah never having to do it alone like being present but it's which is so interesting because we started talking about like being present but again like mm -hmm. there are people to assist you to contribute to you yeah so um it's it's not about how to be present it's more about 
like what are you not willing to deal with directly what where are you doing avoidance change those energies then you are yeah. i would say naturally be present naturally be present that should be t-shirt <laughs> Um, I know we. I said 20 minutes, so I I had like a couple of questions, but I'll probably like, I really want to know what gets you like. I, okay, give me the last question. Pick your best question. The last my one. best question. Actually, I'm going to pick the one that is like funnest because actually it, it popped in my world like middle of the night. And then I was like, I'm going to ask Ryan this question. What is it that actually gets you going? Like even like, you know, you know, that there are like things like that you're like, oh, for this. I will even like get up in like middle of the night and, and, you know, I'll, I'll get present or like, I'll get to work with it. So what is it that excites you? Like, you know. What is it that excites me? Yeah. Like, <sighs> what is it that makes no, I don't have a fixed answer because it depends on when, oh. like at different time, different thing <laughs> excites me. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, knew this in the class, different thing excites me. Like, if I go to a bar, yeah. the cocktail is like me. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that, and all of those are good, great answers. <laughs> you yeah. Can, yeah. So, okay, cool. So is that answered? <laughs> can, yeah, I would say that's the answer. That's the answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. What, what, what excites me is like to, okay, to see people change. That's really, really something that like all the time, whether I'm in a class, outside of a class, sleeping, dreaming, like if I see someone break through great change, great, like great obstacles and they break through, yeah. like um, I, sometimes like my tears like coming out, like fuck, wow, you finally change. So I would say that's the main energy that I be that pushed me forward to always create more, create bigger, because I know, I truly know. It. Okay, at first, when, 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 when did I say I truly know? At first, it's like a concept, like, oh yeah, if I do this, if I open a bus class, like, I contribute. Yeah. But now it's like, I really know it changed people's life. Yeah, and that knowing. Yes. And a side tip, guys, if you, if you want to check if Ryan is exciting, check if he's crying. Did you say that? What? No, you said like you'll be crying. You you're crying like you know when when somebody's life changes. And I was like, wait, that was a joke. Sometimes it happens like publicly. Sometimes inside. <laughs> no, not inside. Like like sometimes it's like very rarely, but like I don't know. Sometimes it's it's been hard for me to continue. If if it happened in the class, it's like how how, how do I keep doing the class? <laughs> Oh, that is so cute. I love that. Okay. Um, one last question, which probably like Do you have what? five questions? We have, yeah, we, no, we have five. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, and I'm like trying to pick one. Um, what is and I I know you talked about like, okay, what conclusion or myths that you would um you would tell people to step out of? What conclusion? You, conclusion or okay. myths. You know, like people have myths, you know, okay. of like, uh, and they can have many types of like, you know, lies that bind, they bind as true. But like, what, what? I would say, yeah. I, I get it. I would say the conclusion and the myths of the lies would be you are not valuable. Get out from that lie. I love that. Mm. That is... <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Ryan. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. That was actually so phenomenal. Yeah, that. I think. Uh, my God. Yeah, that was so beautiful. And yeah. Um, thank you for being here with us, Ryan. And uh, and I apologize for, uh, for the comments that I didn't see <laughs> because now I've closed my browser um but thank you for you hit the pin pocket i'm sorry not sorry <laughs> yeah you started with your apology i'm gonna end with mine <laughs> and and where can people find you send you a friend request or uh you can find me of course on facebook if you if you can find shivam you can find me and i have the domain name ryant.com but it's just like not in use right now uh sometimes i have an access consciousness official profile page sometimes yeah. sometimes <laughs> Uh, yeah. and then, well. oh, 
I love it. And, and we'll, we'll probably see who will first have a website, you or I. I can find you. You Instagram. said that you have your domain name because I have a domain name right. too. I, I have a domain name for, I don't know, maybe at least 20 years, like because I use it for different things at different time, like before access and then after that access. And then after that, like uh, the, you know, something because I, I have a, I had a website that I haven't updated for I don't know God know how long. I mean, I'm like uh, forget it. I would just Seriously, like yeah. Every year I I renew my domain name and I make the payment. So it's been eight years since I've had the domain name. So we'll <laughs> see if something will get available eventually. But at least you know how you know you can reach me through email Ryan at ryant.com. It's like it's too easy. If you know how to spell my name, you can find me. That's <laughs> that is brilliant. And yeah. yeah, and yeah. Wow, thank you. That's easy. And thank you so much for being here. And thank you. thank you for what you're creating in the world and inspiring me and so many of us. And thank you. Thank you thank for you. this. Thank you for being here. And thank you everyone for watching. I hope to see you one day share with me your success truly. Oh, I love that. Yeah. What else All is right. possible? Thank you guys. Thank you everyone thank for you. watching. Bye. Good night. Bye.